conservation officers just finishing up a minute ago. They have just taken the birds away, and the adult birds have just landed to find that their babies are now gone. Now, this has been an anomaly. Why people in this Forest Hills neighborhood have been attacked, but officers say that this is a safety issue. This had to happen. The neighbors have been bombed. I was obviously hit. Um, we can't come out of our house. Today, Eileen Bridge is feeling relief, but Saturday was pain with a black eye and purple face from a hawk aggressively protecting her young 80 feet above Bridge's backyard. As the mother hawk left the nest Wednesday, wildlife officers prepared to move in for the hatchlings, something some of them have never had to do. It's the first time I've had an incident with red tails actually sending someone to the hospital as well. Now, as the hawk swirled overhead, it's unclear why she's been so aggressive, although it could be tied to recent tree trimming in Forest Hills here on Fillmore Road. Whatever the reason, Jeffrey Finch, a principal in Allison Park and also a falconer, prepared to climb eight stories high. As he got closer, he retrieved the basket, and as he reached the nest, it was a fascinating and natural reaction from the two hatchlings. Up on their feet, wings spread to protect their domain. Finch grabbed them by the feet one by one, dropping them back down safely to waiting officers who took them away. They looked very healthy. They're fairly far along in their development. Uh, they'll be taken to a, um, a person who will finish rearing them and then release them back into the wild. After Finch removed the nest from the tree, the mother returned to discover what had happened. But officers stressed that neighbors are now safe to come outside once again. They say the hatchlings will be cared for and the mother hawk will breed again. Andrew Del Greco, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.